on list have been released a long time ago. I remember the first time in 2000, SharePoint 2001. So that's like 15 years ago. Now it's been really improved. You can see color formatting. We used to do programming to do that. Now we just do it in a click, right? We just click on the column and then we can just format. Now how can we do the same in a in a Teams list? So let's open Teams. Remember that a SharePoint site can be a team if it's a modern site. So in my team here I have general, post, and then I have file etc. But what I'm going to do is to add a new tab and we are now available. We can click list. So the way we create a list in Teams is a little bit uh, different because we have a few steps. We first save it as a placeholder, a place to have the, uh, the list. And then we create the list or we add an existing one. So let's add an existing one. Just looking in my site, can find lots of lists. And if on this one I just created in SharePoint, right? So I'm going to add my SharePoint list into my Teams. And now we can see that it's very similar even has the view formatting and the column formatting. Why is it a SharePoint list? It's because if I click on this, I can always see that yes, it is the same list and I'm going to open it in SharePoint. Why do we open it in SharePoint? Because we're still missing quite a lot of action bar here, right? We can modify the view, etc., but it's still missing a few things. But one thing I really like, if we do new item, the new item is taking the whole space here. So it's on three columns. If I was to resize my window, it's going to change my, my form. So that's really nice, right? If we do the same in SharePoint, no. It only keeps it in one column and then it's down, top to bottom. Okay, so this is it for Teams list for now, so I think there's still a point of opening the list in Teams because we can see it on mobile as well very easily, even better than SharePoint and uh, and also one app for everything. But always open it in SharePoint because then you have more option for now. We will get all this hopefully at some point in Teams.